I'm going to show you how to detect and remove a rootkit from your computer system. A rootkit is basically a piece of malware that hides itself in your computer system. There are different types of rootkits. They can hook into the user land, the application land, the kernel, and even the bootloader. The rootkit we're going to look at is called Stuxnet. It was created by the US and uh, Israeli government to target the Iranian nuclear power plants. The best way to detect a rootkit is through memory analysis. It makes the process of finding it kind of almost trivial, even when it comes to a sophisticated piece of malware like Stuxnet, where there were four zero days utilized by the governments. The tool we're going to use is called Volatility. It is completely free and you can download it on GitHub. To get started, you need to get a memory image of a system that you believe has been infected. Uh, most of the time, rootkits are constantly running in the background, so any memory image will do. The first thing I'm going to do is run a command called plist and that will basically list all of the running processes that were contained within this memory image. So we'll just give it a few seconds to load and as you can see, here is the screen. Already looking at this, there are a few things that are strange that should jump out to you immediately. The first one is looking at lsas.exe, which is right here. You can see there's two lsas here and there's also some lsas up at the top. LSAS is the process in your Windows computer system that manages authentication, and it's also the process that writes to event logs. On any given Windows computer systems, there should only ever be one LSAS process running at any given point in time. So the fact that there are two LSAS processes running is extremely strange. The next thing we're going to do is look at what parent process spawned one of the LSASs. As you can see here, this LSAS was spawned by the parent process winlogon, which is legitimate. As you can see here, I'm now passing this PID 668. And this particular LSAS that we saw at the bottom of the screen is being spawned by something called services.exe. If you have a knowledge of a computer system, this should basically never happen. I know at this point, people are gonna ask me, how do you know what's normal and what's not normal? The truth is you just kind of learn these things about your Windows computer system. When you come across processes you don't know, research about them, learn what is normal and what is not normal in your computer system. Next, we're going to run a command called malfind. Malfind basically dumps out regions of memory. As you can see, there's assembly code coming out that kind of indicates that there might be shell code execution or injected pieces of code. It basically looks for things like a long knob chain or you know other things that indicate that there could be malicious activity going on. In the next few episodes of this, I'm going to show you how to basically pull apart the malware, pull out Stuxnet from memory and prove that it's Stuxnet. But stay tuned and let me know if you want longer videos with more detailed explanations. I'm struggling to kind of give you all the detail in three minutes.